So today's video is super exciting. I am finally showing you guys one of my favorite palettes right now, which is the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk Palette. I finally got it. I got it right before I went on vacation like a week and a half ago, and I just never got the chance to sit down and film anything and show you guys. These are some of the colors. It retails for, I think, $65, and you know, it's got a lot of it's got a couple pressed glitters and then it's got a couple of like the really loose glitters and then the rest are just matte shades which are also very pretty. I did kind of like a red eye with just complete glitter on the outside so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, if you like my channel, subscribe, give it all the love that you got and check us out on Pinterest and check us out on Instagram. I'll link all those down below so you guys can follow us and without further ado, let's get started. Everything's super simple today. I really have no makeup on other than a little mascara. I did get the Huda Beauty palette and I know I'm late to the game, but I got it like two days before I went on vacation so I couldn't really stop everything I was doing and do a video as much as I wanted to. I had to pack and I had so many things to do and wedding planning and all these fun things that are going on and I need to really focus in on my work. So Axel Mella Block has kind of been very interesting lately. I've been writing again which feels just so good in my soul. Like I kind of lost my way a little bit with with that so it feels good to be back to writing it always makes me feel so much better and I am doing a little bit of fashion so be sure to check out XO Mella's Pinterest which is at XO Mella blog and check out our Instagram which is at XO Mella blog also so my first impressions of this palette was that the colors were gorgeous it's a lot of colors that I like to play with on a daily basis anyways I love oranges and things like that oh look at my ring light <laughs> I love all those things. The mirror is beautiful. Everything's just really pretty. This is a pretty pricey palette. I want to say it was like $65. I'm not sure. But um, it really is a nice, nice palette. So I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit short. So I'm just going to go in, prime my eyes really quickly, and just kind of get like that base on there so that we can just keep going. I was going to do my foundation first which I never do but because I want to save time I was going to do it first but I'm going to actually do it after because this palette the one thing about it is it does have a tad bit of fallout so just keep that in mind if you're not really good with working with shadows with fallout you want to keep that in mind. Other than the fact that I mean this is the most gorgeous like front of a palette that I've ever seen. The colors are equally as gorgeous. Um, they definitely have like blown me away several times so I like to do fun colors. <laughs> On vacation I use like a lot of the purples and the pinks so I kind of want to do something a little bit fall. Some of these deep red and oranges. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the color Eden and kind of do a quick swipe. This Eden color looks a little pinky and it definitely comes out pinky but it is not a bad transition color and I'm just using an Ulta crease brush not to mention I'm using the three times magnified side of my mirror which always makes me feel so much better about myself and that's a huge lie because it's honestly really terrifying to look at keeping things going I'm gonna go in with this um amber color which is like this deeper red and I'm just going to kind of use it to deepen up a little bit of what's going on here when I did the crease. It's going to work with what we're going to do with it. You don't have to use a super um, huge amount of the matte shades in this palette because they have a lot of color come off with just one swipe. To deepen everything up, I'm going to go in with this really deep red, which is the color Saffron. And this is just a different Ulta crease brush that I'm using. I, Like I've said in my other videos, I bought quite a few of them. And I do think that they're really, really pretty. Um, and they work really, really well. So just keep that in mind if you're unsure of what kind of brushes you wanna use. I know they have different kinds of brushes for everything and sometimes that's where things get complicated and people kind of, you know, not mess themselves up, but they do stress themselves out. Um, if you find a brush that you like and you feel like it works really well for different colors, then just kind of stick with that. I go back in with an eyeshadow base because I want this to be beginner friendly. Like I don't want you to feel like you have to be like a professional makeup artist to be able to use these types of things. And so I'm just going to do one eye at a time. So I just applied it to this and then I'm going to go in with this super, super pigmented 
color Cosmo, which looks like a loose, like, glitter. I'm going to try one side with this super compact airbrush crease brush from It Cosmetics. And I mean, this is really, really red. So I really like it, but it's definitely gotta be something that you're into. I think honestly, like, this could be a really cute look for Halloween if you want to do something like a little more dramatic for a shadow. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit more than I normally would and kind of just spread it around. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tap onto the color Cosmo, which is just that pressed color. I'm sorry you guys have to keep seeing the reflection in the mirror of my ring light. It's just how it goes. So this is just like a super pigmented glitter. And sometimes the best thing to do with these glitters is just to pat them on. I'm going to add a couple swipes of this color, which is this golden color right here. And I'm just going to add in a couple swipes just to kind of make it a little bit more golden red instead of that brighter red. And it just kind of, if you feel like it's not toned down enough, this gives it like that champagne-y pop that some girls really like and other girls don't. So, I mean, like, I think with the, <laughs> with the gold, it's everything. But if you want that really harsh, like, pop and red eye, stick with that one. All right, so all I took was like a makeup towel and I just tried to get all the excess glitter off of my face and I'm gonna go in with my Ulta eyeliner brush and I'm gonna use this color right here which is just this deeper brown. It's sometimes harder for me to do um, eyeliner in my waterline because it sometimes just makes my water my eyes water really bad but very pigmented so you can go in with a light hand so off camera all I really did was put on some fake lashes and then I'm just gonna put on some bottom lash mascara I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex I don't like love this mascara for my upper lashes if I'm not wearing fake lashes just because um, I feel like my eyelashes might be too thick to the point where this makes it look way too thick and clumpy. So I like to just use it on my lower lashes and I think it gives them like a really pretty like dramatic look. So I just continue on with that and like maybe like one swipe. I always do a swipe of uh, mascara on my eyelashes after I put on fake lashes just so that everything blends like really good. I'm gonna quickly clean up my brows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Soft Brown and I'm just going to kind of, all I really do is give a quick swipe over. Um, that's pretty much it. And like any mistakes that I feel like I made, I just wipe off with my finger because that's all you really have to do. You can kind of give it more of a longer definition with this product. It's definitely really good for drama. I kind of use it as an outline and then I go in with my A, I think this is A15 brush by Anastasia. The sides got like that and then this one has a spoolie and I go in with my soft brown brow powder duo really quickly. I always use this side of things because my roots are dark and I am currently growing out my roots. Like I go get highlights and I make sure that my hairdresser just keeps letting my roots grow up. But like I freshen up the blonde on the outside and she always does like this piece so it doesn't look like, you know, I'm really going crazy. But <laughs> I just like the way the grown out root looks right now. So I'm just going with it and it helps keep my hair super healthy. I really want my hair to grow. So it's been doing a really good job growing and I think that that might have something to do with it that I'm not always, you know, bleaching it so much. Especially when you let your roots grow, you don't have to get it done as often. And the longer you let them grow, the more natural it looks. So it's a win-win here, people. I did just set my brows with Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. I'm going to use 
they're, it's like this duo I did one side to conceal your brows and the other side is a little bit of a highlight. So I just do like a quick swipe like that. This just kind of evens out um, your shadow concealer brush to kind of clean it up. And I would normally use my finger, but the shadow here is so sparkly that don't really want to take any chances and get it on my fingers before I do a full face. All right, so I start off by moisturizing my face. I use Kate Somerville's um, Exfoliate Glow, Glow Moisturizer. It looks like this. Next, I prime with uh, Benefits, the Pore Professional Matte Rescue. It's actually been a second since I've done a full face of anything on camera. I usually only do, um, I only do like, okay, I'm gonna do just eyeshadow or just full face of foundation, but I decided let's just do the whole thing because why not? I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is my go-to. I go to this foundation every single day. I always um, like just grab for it. I don't know why. Um, I usually use Smashbox Studio Skin. I have oily skin and that one really makes my skin look glowy without you know looking shiny. And this one also is just long lasting. It makes me look matte for a long time. So if I'm going to work, I'm gonna use it. So I just do a couple pumps across my face. I usually use a beauty blender, I'm not gonna lie. But um, lately I've been using my Tarte's Amazonian Clay Bamboo Brush. This is supposed to be used with their Amazonian Clay Foundation. I find that a beauty blender sucks up a lot of the product, which is just not cool. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna try my foundation brush that I use with my Amazonian Clay Foundation and see if I like it. And I have liked it, so I've just gone with it. The Beauty Blender just really did nothing for me with this foundation. It felt like it sucked everything up. And I know this foundation was sold with a brush. You should go buy the Fenty Beauty brush, but I didn't. <laughs> so I figured I would first try it with one of my own brushes before I went spending any more money. So next I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Light Medium. I'm kind of tan right now. I just got back from vacation, hence why, but not a good excuse why I haven't done a video in a second. I do a little bit under my eyes. Try to do a little bit of a triangle. I do a little bit right here. I do a little bit right here. I've been doing a little here. Like I'm doing a full contour. I've just been doing, I've been highlighting here. I've been highlighting here very lightly, and I've also been highlighting here. So look at that. And then I just blend. Okay, so right now certain parts of my face look super um, light. That's because I'm baking and I'm going to continue to bake while I do a little bit of bronzer. Quickly, I'm gonna use my Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I'm just going to do a swipe there and a swipe there in the hollows of my cheek. I'm not going to put it on my forehead or like do the three that I normally would. I still am baking and that's what I'm focusing on and then I'll bronze my forehead and everything else. I'm going to take my light butter bronzer. I could have used a little bit darker of a color but this is the color that we're working with and I'm just going to go over where I contoured and as you can see I am really just focusing in on my cheekbones. It's kind of what I like to do. It's a little bit less work and it does make things look a little bit more dramatic on this area of your face. So I just kind of lightly blend that in and then I'm going to wipe off all of the powder that's baking the concealer in. So just make sure you get it all over your face and make sure you don't have anything left because you don't want any flashback. For baking I did use Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's the only powder that I don't get flashback with. Just set my highlighter brush with my Makeup Revolution Illuminating Fixing Spray. All you do is spray it. I'm going to take my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop because I am obsessed and yeah that's just how it is. Next one I'm going to use a different one because I really do miss my Anastasia, um, oh okay I said it right, my Anastasia Glow Kits but for right now I'm going to stick with my, um, that's really pretty, with my Champagne Pop because I do love it. 
and I have no regrets when I use it. I just keep going because I think it's pretty. But everyone else probably thinks it's scary. <laughs> For lipstick, I'm using YSL Couture Matte Stain. And I'm just going to put it over my lips. It's a really pretty rosy color. The big thing about this lipstick is it's just supposed to feel like you're not wearing anything. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check us out on all the different social media platforms I always link down below because we're always creating new things, whether it's new blog posts about life or new outfits on Pinterest. You guys want to keep up, I can promise you that. So please follow us on all different things down below and I will see you guys again in my next video. Thanks for watching.